Boise and Fun can best describe the latest science experiment at the Imagination Station. Joining us now is Carl Nelson to talk about thermite spheres. Is that right? Kind of, kind of. Um, I brought with me something really simple. They're, it, they're just um, some rusty iron spheres. They're almost like a shot put or a, a giant ball bearing. Yeah. So they're fairly heavy. Like, don't <laughs> throw them. Don't throw them quite yet. I promised I wouldn't throw Before it. you get into that, <laughs> let's put on our safety gear. Put on your glasses okay. and um, the gloves there. Because I'm going to have you do a really simple Ooh. sort of experiment. Okay. I want you to pick up both of those spheres and I want you to smash them together as hard as you can. This is going to take some real muscles right now. Two cautions. We don't want to see the Kimberly smashes her <laughs> finger between the spheres experiment, <laughs> and we don't want to see the Kimberly breaks the nice glass table experiment. Okay? So this, just, is a, this is a lot. Some I know it's a lot to ask. Is happening here. Smash them together and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> like that? <laughs> so I'm hearing sound, and you're probably feeling vibrations yeah, in your hands, Yeah, like right? really heavy. Mm -hmm. They're really heavy. Now, the problem is, there's something really cool happening when you smash those together that we can't see. Okay. And so scientists and engineers, go, you can go ahead and put those down. Okay. <laughs> Got something easier for you. Scientists and engineers will use tools sometimes to uh, observe things you can't normally see. And I brought a very sure. sophisticated tool called a sheet of paper. Piece of paper. I love it. I need it. you to hold that right in front of you just like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing you were doing, which uh -huh. is smashing those spheres together on the piece of paper. I promise I've never hit your finger. On the okay? paper. On the paper. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and smell that. Oh, I do smell it. I don't even have to try. The it's paper is burning. burnt. It's burning. Funny. When you smash these two things together, and it's a nice smiley face. It's a little it? smiley Isn't face. I like that. Uh, when you smash these two things together, oh. a tremendous amount of pressure builds up where the two spheres just come in contact in one tiny point. Sure. In fact, it builds up probably in excess of 1,200 degrees when you smash these two things together on the paper. Now, you only need like 451 to burn paper. Uh, all right. But... The Glad cool it didn't thing. go in flames. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not the paper, but uh -huh. I brought something else with me that's a little bit more fun. Go ahead and take this uh, sheet of aluminum foil okay. and wrap it on one of your spheres. Does it matter which side? It um, doesn't matter which side. It's still aluminum foil. It's just a, a layer of aluminum with a little oxide on the outside. Now, the cool thing we can do here is by, and smooth it out really smooth on the bottom there. Very nice. We're going to try to create a chemical reaction between the aluminum and okay. the iron oxide or the rust on the spheres. <gasps> Oh, okay. All right. It's really easy to do because we're going to use the fact that we can generate a tremendous amount of pressure. What you're going to do is just smash them together with kind of a glancing ah. blow. Give okay. it a try. It's kind of, it's kind of tricky to do. <laughs> there you go. All right. You created something called a thermite reaction. <laughs> All right. You can see it even, it'll like <gasps> blow the aluminum foil off one of the spheres, kind of welds it on the other. All because yeah. of that tremendous pressure combining iron oxide with aluminum. It's very reactive and it'll generate um, a thermite reaction. That's crazy. It takes a bit of practice. Uh, you, did, you did get one good spark there to start with, which is right. pretty cool. <laughs> um, and so, you know, a long time ago, this was used to actually weld train tracks together. No kidding. You, you wouldn't do it on this micro scale version, right? Of this course, is like right? the micro scale thermite reaction. They would actually take aluminum and iron powder, mix it together, and form molten iron to sort of join two railroad tracks together. Oh, wow. So, kind of a cool uh, micro chemistry reaction that you can do. Um, just with some rusty iron and uh, some sears. It's almost like if you're going, on, going to go on Survivor, uh -huh. this might be your luxury item, right? There Imagine we go. the fires you could start <laughs> with a thermite reaction like that. Oh, how funny. Well, so that's pretty cool. very cool. Now, are we doing things like this at the Imagination Station? We do this as part of our combustion demonstration. So we talk about fire safety, we talk about chemical reactions. It's kind of a fun thing. Um, everybody likes sparks and, uh, and noises as well. That's excellent. Tell us what your holiday hours are. Well, we are closed on New Year's Day. Okay. Okay, but other Important. than that, on Monday, we are open from 10 to 5 mm -hmm. on January 2nd. And we got all sorts of cool things happening. Um, so come on down and check it out. Absolutely. The holidays are over, so it's time to get involved in some science. I love Absolutely. it. Thank you so much, Carl. Sure. Tina? Carl is the smartest person I know. I swear. That was awesome. Well, next on WTOL 11.